Okay, I just want to set the record straight. I made a reply to somebody in the comments yesterday that the game between the Blue Jays and the Yankees got uh, rained out due to a thunderstorm. Well, apparently that wasn't true. The, the Blue Jays lost to the Yankees 7-2. to two. Okay, well, you know, if I was a sports fan, I might get excited about that, but I'm not much of a sports fan. Even though baseball would probably be the one sport, if I had to watch one, I, that, that would be what I would watch. <laughs> probably because I can understand it. Anyway, uh, all right. Now, what I'm thinking of doing today is taking the 77 and my little brush and just carefully trying to maybe highlight some of the protrusions, you might say, that are on some of these boats, just to give them a little bit more pizzazz. Uh, I wasn't going to do anything, but I kind of changed my mind on that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to just carefully do it. I don't know how much of it I'm going to video. Uh, and on the other hand, if I don't video it, there's not going to be much to show you regarding the model ship today. Now, yesterday I did do some videoing, but it had to do with uh, uh, modifying the bird feeder. I put the squirrel guard on. I don't know, maybe, maybe I should run that. I think I've already done the video, and it runs for about five minutes. Now, as for this morning's sunrise, it was another, you might say, cloudless sky. And when you have a cloudless sky in a sunrise, uh, it's identical to the one that was the cloudless sky of the sunrise before, except that the sun comes up about two minutes later, or earlier if it's a spring. And uh, yeah, otherwise it's, it's pretty much the same. So I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I'm just going to tack it at the end of today's episode. If you want to watch it, well, go for it. But uh, it's pretty much the same as the one that was, I think, what was it, the day before yesterday? It was nice, but nothing special. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get on here, and uh, good luck to our Blue Jays. While yesterday's episode of the model ship number 944 was still uploading onto YouTube, I went outside and I took our bird feeder off the post. Now, if you use a little bit of imagination here, you can envision an Olympian triumphantly bringing the torch into the stadium. Okay, you have to use a lot of imagination. Okay, this sort of fits together, I guess, like this. That's not a very round hole, is it? take this down in the workshop and uh, I was hoping I didn't need to but I gotta make that uh, square square uh, stand about 1.2 I'll turn it down to about one and a quarter 
and see if that, that can be made to fit here. Now, I, I don't think this is... Oh yeah, if I, if I look right along in, in the edge here, you can see it's in about as far as it can go. So, uh, well, we'll think of something. Okay, this is a, a handle out of what I believe used to be a, a snow shovel that somebody had discarded because it was, the handle was, was beautiful handle, but uh, I think the snow shovel was plastic. Anyway, I, I think that, it, you know, it's already sort of tapered. I haven't tried it yet. You're going to see it uh, along with me for the first time here. I think it's going to be I, almost perfect. I don't think I could have. I don't think I could have done this better if I had a had it taken and tried to turn this down on the lathe. It's already exactly. Okay. That's going to be just great. Now. I think what I'll do is I'll just I'll just cut it off here. Uh, or maybe uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll just shorten that that square part. It was in pretty bad shape anyway, and uh, drill a couple of holes here and fasten it on. And yeah, and then uh, I can cut this off right here. Drill a hole in the center, fasten it on. Once again, I'm starting to describe everything, aren't I? Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do that and get it up back outside and get the seeds back in. Now I'm not very good at narrating to what I'm doing after the fact. Um, yeah, I like to talk while I am working <laughs> and then I'll say something like I can't talk and work at the same time so we can't win, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, the uh, the bird feeder's up. Uh, now, the first time I put it up, and there's, the reason there's two times is the, f the first time I put it up, I forgot to put the squirrel guard on of all the stupid mistakes I could have, and I really did. I mean, I wasn't mugging for the camera, you might say. I hope my kids don't see this. They'll stick me in the home. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I had to take it all down and put the squirrel guard on and put it back up again. A at any rate, it is up. And the uh, seed mixture goes like this. It's two-thirds of the black oil seed and, and one-third of the seed that I poured out of it. Um, now, the way the seed poured back, <laughs> it kind of poured back with the, with the good oil seed at the top. So the birds are going to have to work through the old seed to get to the tasty stuff. At least people are telling me it's tasty. I never tasted it. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're up and running here. Uh, I hope our blue jay comes back. That, that, was, that was beautiful. Um, well, we'll see. Anyway... Let's keep our fingers crossed here. Okay, now on this one here, the smallest of our boats, is this a little hair or something? I think I got it, I'm not sure. Anyway, I, I think that the only thing I want to do is this little bracket here. I, I think that must have something to do with uh, maybe where they would mount a sail, a mast for a sail. It's the only thing I can think of. This would have been the bow here. Okay, let's... Uh, what, what is that? Let me get it with a pair of tweezers. Where's my tweezers? Okay, good thing I can cut out the dead spots. Took me a minute to decide which ones I wanted here. There, got it, whatever it was. Okay. 
No, it's going to be really hard to do just that round part. If I could just come down just a little bit further on this side. How's that? Yeah, otherwise I'm going to end up Okay, as I've said probably a thousand times during this build, let's leave well enough alone here. Or is it, let's quit while we're ahead. Okay, this boat here, it has a similar little thing going on. I'm also noticing that there's some uh, grating in the back. Now, one, one of the viewers had suggested maybe using a brown panel line accent color. Maybe try that on this one. Oh, I put on too much. It's so hard to just put on just a little. All right, let's, uh, let's just leave that. At arm's length, you're just going to see a tiny little dot there. You won't notice that it actually went down a little bit further than I had intended. So let's not try and improve on it, because you'll just make it worse. Okay, now, take this off here. And we'll reposition this thing so that the this part here is going to rotate in the center makes sense to me. Now you see that grating that I was talking about? Okay, I know it looks like it's pretty wet, but I've actually tried to get a lot of the... Okay, let's not do any more now. It's, uh... Yet on the other hand, if I if I don't put a little bit more on, it's going to look kind of blotchy there, so I'll just, I'll just put a little on the edge here. It'll define the, define the, yeah, it's going together there. Okay, I think that's going to look good at a distance. Okay, we'll just let that dry. Oh my, it is going up the sides though. I, th I guess I should have uh, removed a little bit more out of the applicator here. I think I started to say I got this uh, accent uh, panel line color. I think I got four different uh, varieties of it. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, this goes way back to when we first started the Bismarck. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty good, actually. Yeah, thanks to that viewer for reminding me. It's not that I didn't know about it, it's just that I keep forgetting I've got this stuff. Okay, I don't have any number 77 on my brush right now, but we've got the, these four things that are on the top here. I, I believe this is some sort of hook or, or, or moor, mooring thing, you know, like we put a rope through, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know what this is, maybe it's supposed to be a light. But, right here, that I'm touching right now, is that flashing that I didn't get off, or, or what's, what is that? I don't know, I was thinking that I, I, would, be, I would be painting that dark, but... Okay, I'm not going to, though. Okay, let's just try and do, let's do the bigger one here, just right on the center.
too bad. Kind of went down on the deck a little bit further. Well, now i got to make it look even. Okay, now this one. My brush is drying out. There's such a small amount on the brush that Okay. Now come in from the back here. I'm not doing a very good job. I'm almost better off maybe leaving these ones alone. I think uh, <clears throat> at a distance that's going to look okay, but uh, no, not really, because it's, well, maybe I can, afterwards with the hobby knife, I can carefully scrape that off. And as far as this, this one here that we don't know what it is, I'm, just, I'm not going to try it. Um, yeah, some of these are just so small that, uh, and I'm, I'm just not good at this. Okay, this is that same boat. We're at the uh, stern section now. And I uh, just want to give you perspective here. Maybe my problem has been trying to go down the sides of these things. What if I was to come in at the same Trying to touch the top. Uh, let's just leave it. As far as these these three smaller ones, I'm just going to leave them. Okay, there's some stuff on the uh, what you might call the roof here. But you know, uh, they're they're so small. I th I'm just going to leave them as well. Now, I suppose those could have been painted white. Well, we got something on there anyway. Okay, I'm noticing that this uh, particular boat, you can't see it. There's some stuff on the back that maybe I should try and get some of this paint on too. Okay, I'm not going to try and go down the sides of those. Alright. Can you still see that? No, I'm only going to try and do the top. Brush is drying up. Oh, 
Okay, now, see the grate? I'm going to do the panel line in that one too. Okay, now here again, if I don't, if I don't put it in a little bit on the heavy side, it won't go along the, no, it, okay, let's, uh, let's not put any more on now. From arm's length, that's going to look pretty good. Now, I would have never thought that on the 29th of September I'd be running my air conditioner, but it's on. Yeah, it's a warm day here. I know the uh, thermometer says 33.1. I don't think it's that warm, but it's, it's pretty warm. Anyway, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know what happens. So I'm going to call it quits here. And, uh... Thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow, and uh, stay tuned for the sunrise of this morning, if you're interested. Bye for now.